Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Uh, today I'm giving a product a try that I've heard a lot of good things about um, called Fluid Film. So powerful rust and corrosion protection for all tools and equipment, superior lubricant, long-term penetrant, solvent-free, non-hazardous. So um, I'm not doing a plug for this company or anything. I bought this myself. I have nothing to do with them. I've just heard from a few friends this is really good stuff. And the old Cougar is getting to the point where we're starting to get a little bit of rust here and there. Um, some of the, especially on some of the black under, under a um, carriage that uh, is black and it was powder coated. Some of the powder coating is starting to wear away in spots. So I needed something to, to kind of coat this. Supposedly this is a wool wax formula, so it's not really a solvent. There's a a bit of solvent in the propellant, but uh, other than that, it's not a solvent of any kind. So supposedly it stays in place. I'm using it on various things like my hitch, my pin box, my front landing gear, um, my stairs there, and my uh, rear stabilizer jacks and some of the undercarriage. Basically anything where some rust is starting to appear. So let's go through here. It says unparalleled rust and corrosion control system superior lubricant and penetrate always active non-evaporating non-drying stays in place forming a continuous durable protective barrier utilizes unique molecular action of wool wax along with other corrosion inhibiting ingredients non-water soluble displaces moisture apply over damp or dry surfaces surfaces so I've read uh, online a lot of people use these for uh, snow floor snow blowers things like that and a lot in farming equipment. Uh, excellent no drip vehicle undercoating. So that's one thing. Um, I might um, our new truck. I might decide to to do some of this. You can you can get a bigger can and a sprayer and undercoat it. But I just like to ask if anybody's done it, how it worked out for them, if they recommend it, versus the um, the rubber undercoating, which I hear isn't very good. Um, living on the west coast, we don't get too much. Uh, rust out here not like back east where they you know they get salt on the roads and stuff so not super concerned but uh, one thing that this thing can cause problems with is natural rubber not so much the synthetic rubber but natural rubber can cause it to swell so I guess you have to be careful with that it says penetrates through rust stopping all metal deterioration on contact migrates to inaccessible areas but areas by capillary action impregnates pores of exposed metal keeping moisture oxygen out stops corrosion by both natural and industrial sources eliminates the destructive corrosive effects of harsh minerals and chemicals such as salt acid calcium chloride fertilizer herbicide pesticide all kinds of stuff non-conductor will not cause static electricity will not harm painted or plastic surfaces or oil resistant seals if oversprayed on rubber, wipe with clean cloth as it may cause swelling. Silicone and Teflon free. So it looks like some pretty good stuff. So like I said, I'm going to give it a try this year. Um, fall is approaching. We just had a three or four days of heavy downpour. So it's that time of year again. And we usually head down the coast where we get some salt air onto the rig. So I'm going to coat everything with this. And then I'll report back in a few months how it worked out. Um, like I say, if anybody has any comments about it, feel free to, to leave them in the description below. Till next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers, everyone.